Hey, what's up reefers? Today we are at Supreme Reef to pick up coral that I've been looking for for a very long time. So, let's go. It's go time. All right, so we are at Supreme Reef. I'm picking up my coral and just check out these amazing collection. And the owner band here can maybe introduce us to a few pieces of corals because they have really high-end stuff compared to um, other fish store I've been at. And Ben, which ones do you think uh, are some of your favorite pieces? And there's uh, there's like three huge frag tanks here. Yeah, actually, uh, stylos are becoming pretty popular, so uh, they're pretty, um, really, actually, they're really easy to keep. And this is one right here. Uh, the base is actually flat, it's an encrusted. Uh, the polyps actually uh, extend out pretty long. Uh, these are all stylos right here. Really easy to keep, low to medium light. These two. Um, actually you can tolerate highlight so it depends on the strain uh, here's another one of my favorites here oh, so, Wilsani awesome. rainbow Wilsani of course uh, everyone likes mushrooms oh, here's the, the bounce, huh? yeah that's the original bounce and this one's um, it's one of my signatures it's called uh, the berserker oh, it's man. Um, pretty large there's another one back here another favorite I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that's really bright. That's a yeah. red and orange one, right? Is that yeah. this one? Jawbreaker. Oh man. Yeah. I hear about that a lot actually, Jawbreaker. Yeah, it's uh it's pretty popular. It's very cool. And you have a lot of really colorful rainbow acans as well. Yeah. Love acans. And you guys ship, right? Yep. Worldwide. Absolutely. Well not worldwide, but within the US. Within the US, yeah. Because I think that's like the number one question I get when I um, show some people with tanks. Is that, hey, do they ship? Can they see something they like? These are actually the um, uh, racks I bring to the shows. Okay. Yeah. So um, that's what they're on these uh, special frag racks. This piece is pretty cool here. Is that one piece? Yeah, it's uh, one common. It's like um, half, uh, yeah, half green and half blue, long tentacle plate. That is really cool. Yeah. Alright, so you guys also remember um, the really colorful, almost like an orange tip of a tip anemone I got uh, in an auction earlier. And I actually brought it back to see if it's a light that makes the difference or if it actually lost color in my tank. And it appears that it actually lost color in my tank because back then it was like a burning orange. It's super amazing looking. Unfortunately, I think it just did not like my light. So that was confirmed. So, uh, Ben, like in your opinion, right? What are some great light? to retain like coral color or anemone color? Uh, if possible, uh, metal halides. Um, usually, uh, it has the most spectrum, so um, they're tried and true already. Yeah. And LEDs, they're, they're not like um, that new, but they still haven't been around um, long enough yeah. compared to like halides and T5s. So, um, yeah, I'd say metal halides. Uh, if you can uh, tolerate a little bit of heat or um, you know find the solution for some um, uh, something to cool the tank down whether it be a chiller or fans mm -hmm. but T5s at least that's the way to go and you're running T5s here T5s right? yeah. yeah the ATI dimmables okay yeah with some reef brights yeah what kind of bulbs do you run uh, all blue T5s? plus I got one oh, all blue plus purple cool. plus on there too cool. that's about it yeah but I don't run them for that long like six hours a day I got gotcha. you. Mm -hmm. And you swap out the bulb in a couple months, right? Like six months? Uh, months. Well, since I run it so low, eight to nine months. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I went from T5 back in the days, and then mm -hmm. I always wanted LED because they first came out. Mm -hmm. I got out, of, got out of the hobby, came back in, and then tried LED. And mm -hmm. at first I liked it, and then after a while I was like, oh, I don't know. I, I tried it for a while, yeah. um, and it killed a lot of my corals. Oh, no. And it bleached them out or changed their color Yeah. because the spectrum's not that broad on them. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I just remember it looked amazing in your tank. So unfortunately, it kind of lost its color a little bit, but yeah. hopefully they'll come back. Yeah, that's what happens. When, uh, I had a couple of enemies do that, and um, I got it back for like a month or two, and mm -hmm. it colored back up. Color right back up, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm hoping that um, in my next tank update, up, I'll obviously change the light as well. I'll probably try out T5 and LED yeah. combo. Yeah, yeah. It makes a huge difference. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, I just want to bring it back to see like, exactly what it is that change yeah. so all right guys so i mentioned that i'm here for a coral that i've been looking for for a long time and check out this fat hat dendro it's a 
beautiful piece. Got a baby on it. Yeah. Oh, nice. I didn't even know there's a baby. Yeah, so I tried Sun Coral before and it got tired really fast because mm -hmm. I had trouble getting it to open. Um, I spent about two weeks with it every day, spending like 45 minutes just trying to coax it to come out. But ultimately, I thought Dendro may be better because it seems to be open most of the time mm -hmm. and they're larger and they can take meteor food. So, yeah, they're a lot easier to take care of. You don't have to put them on a schedule really, like mm -hmm. the Sun Corals. You have to actually train them these they're usually always open they're always open yeah and so. what kind of food do you typically feed yours uh i feed mine the fauna marion um, lps pellets okay yeah um and they seem to grow a little bit faster with that uh color i mean they're always pretty vibrant and um, you can actually feed them all types of food cool and how often do you feed yours uh i actually feed mine once or twice a week okay you can feed it every other day if you uh, if you want because they do eat a lot but they'll tell you when they're full they'll just uh, regurgitate it ah uh, interesting yeah now do you notice um like they grow a lot faster if you feed more often or uh, like, to yeah. the point of they regurgitate they, they do but it depends on the food you feed them uh, like some frozen food they'll take but they it won't do the same effect as like a more um like a high protein food like the fauna marin is uh, uh it's high in protein so um, it grows a bit faster with that stuff. Gotcha, I have to look yeah. that up. So quality of food is really important too. Mm -hmm. Yo, thank you so much. Oh yeah, no problem. I resisted and was able to walk away with just the fed head dandro that I came for. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I have been waiting for these um, fed head dandro for quite a while. Uh, they become more and more rare simply because the importing and exporting of fed head dandro has been banned uh, in a lot of countries. So. It, they still come in from certain countries and of course with the proper paperwork uh, they come in through legal channel as well so supreme reef was able to secure a few frags with this guy and um i saw it and i immediately jumped on it simply because i know that uh, they're really rare now and they're really in high demand and i've always wanted these guys these are kind of like to me they're like sun they're like sun coral on steroid because they're huge and they have a tendency to stay open versus sun coral you have to train them to go get open at a certain time during feeding time and that's kind of where i failed in my last attempts uh not failed because like they are healthy they are putting on putting out babies but it just take too much effort uh to kind of spend half an hour 45 minutes every other day to feed the sun coral versus with this guy it just opened most of the time look at this it's in the it's in the container it's already open completely so this is amazing but I just love how they look. I love how large they are. I love the fact they're always open. And now that they're rare, um, maybe down the road I can kind of just like propagate them too to kind of, you know, um, sp uh, spread it around. Because again, they are illegal to import and export now. But if you have it already, right, it is okay. It is okay to propagate. So I'm going to acclimate this guy and I'm going to get him into the tank and ignore the words here. It's, what did it say? Latin lovers and woodstocks. I guess those are like zoas or something. So the dendros has been in the tank for three days and adjusting well. I have been feeding it a variety of food as I feed my tank. It has taken LRS refrenzy, LRS fertility, Ross food, and PE mysis like a champ. The polyps are open all the time and they easily capture food and gulp them down quickly. This is a huge difference from the struggle of trying to feed my sun coral economy. One interesting observation about this coral is that the price skyrocketed when the importing of this coral was banned. Reverse of relying on the very few ones coming into the country legally or illegally, but mostly on aquaculture of the colonies that are already in the country. But aquaculture takes time, and some people do not want to break up their large colony. What used to be a pretty affordable coral is now costing around $30 to $50 per head. As the coral reef becomes more threatened, more corals will probably follow the path of the fathead dendro and get on the endangered species list. I have never been too big in coral propagation because it feels intimidating to cut up corals, but it may be time for me to learn more about it. It seems like the hobby would be turning more towards aquaculture colonies, not to mention it would be good for the environment. One last thing. While the fathead dendro costs around $40 a head in the US, it is actually one of the most common coral in the China market, going for around $1 per head. Figures, right? By the way, if you are on Instagram, let's link up. I'm inappropriate reefer on there and I usually share things that I don't talk about on YouTube. Check it out and you'll know what I mean. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.